So I want to create a really dramatic introduction to my song, something that has a really clear rising quality and kind of really pushes the energy forward, you know, this kind of dramatic tension that pushes the, uh, to push the song forward. And we'll be using Alchemy in Logic to do it. And like many of the Logic synthesizers, Alchemy has an MPE mode. It can function with the multi-channel data that the Seaboard Rise sends. So in the dashboard, we'll set it kind of at its defaults in that we have multi-mode on, MPE on, a channel range of 2 to 16, and we have our pitch bend range of 48. Let's go over to Alchemy and see how we'll set this patch up. So I'm starting with the neurons firing patch. Let's see what it sounds like. And you know, it has a very cool um, kind of response to that press dimension. And one of the nice things about Alchemy is when you're in the browser, often there's little hints about how the patch will respond to a performance. And this says aftertouch increases brightness. And we know that the press dimension on the Seaboard Rise translates to aftertouch. And so if I see aftertouch does something, those are the patches I'm kind of looking for. Now, with many of the synthesizers in Logic, we have to place it in MPE mode. And so we'll go to the triangle at the bottom of Alchemy, open it up, and we have an option for MIDI mono mode. And we'll turn that to on and with a bass channel of one. And we're also checking to make sure that the pitch bend range that I set in the dashboard is the same as the one set in here. And that's a 48 semitone pitch bend range, which is perfect for us. I would like to make this riser even more dramatic though, and I want, I'm just gonna push harder over, over my intro, um, and I'm not getting quite enough response. So let's see if we can actually add more modulation with aftertouch. If I go to the advanced view, any knob I can touch on and change, we can modulate. And this one here is really cool. It's the filter frequency filter too, let's hear it. That's a great sound, right? It has this really squealy high resonance filter and it's really dramatic. And so I was moving that with the mouse manually, but I'd like that to happen with press. And so because of the parameters selected, we see all the possible modulation right here. And we can see there's already two modulators assigned to it. Let's add a third. I'll go here and I'll choose my modulation source and we'll choose a note property of aftertouch. Perfect. And after that, we have a range that we can set very high to get a dramatic range on this. Let's try this note now. I also like this kind of patch because it, it really kind of highlights just how much press you need. You know, it doesn't take much to get that filter to go all the way, and you'll, you'll kind of find a sweet spot as you perform with it. Now, I'm noticing that I actually wanted to start a bit lower, so I can go really high with this. Let's try this one more time. Now, sometimes you might find that you want that to have a little bit of a different curvature as you push harder, right? So that parameter can kind of track how you play. And one of the nice features of Alchemy is we can add um, a kind of a transfer function to each of the modulators. And we can do that in this other column right here. We've touched this and there's an option for a mod map. So they call it a modulation map. And it really is saying how input after touch will translate to the, uh, the actual parameter that you're modulating. So it's gonna be filter cutoff in this, in this instance. So I'll say new mod map, and what we really have here, it is a transfer function, so input is on the x-axis and output is on the y-axis. And so if I want this to kind of stay toward the bottom and kind of sweep up at the very end, I can adjust the curvature of that mod map, and let's hear it now. I think that's dialed in nicely, and let's hear it in the context of my song. We'll rewind, and we'll create kind of a dramatic introduction. Let's try this out. <laughs> 